So graphical parameter estimation is used all the time. The typical approach is if we have some data that follow a straight line, we can go and fit a line just graphically and uh, obtain the slope and the intercept, and then we've got an equation uh, for a function that represents the data. Well, what we want to be able to do is to extend this capability to the power function and the exponential function. And the way we'll do that is to use the log transform. So here's an example. This is the power function, and we have the power function right here. When we apply the log transform, we take the natural log of both sides. And so this is the log transform of the power function. It's just the natural log of y, and then the natural log of this product is the natural log of a plus b natural log of x. This has the form of a line. If we plot natural log of y on the y-axis and natural log of x on the x-axis, then we get an equation that has this form where um, the natural log of a is capital B, the intercept, and lowercase b is the slope. So here's an example of how this would work. This column is the x values and the y values. And if we plotted this up, uh, we would get a curve that looks like this. This is a power function. And so if we take the log of x, the natural log of x, so this column is the natural log of this column. And this column is the natural log of y. So these red numbers are the natural log of the numbers in this column. So when we plot these data here, we get this curve. It looks kind of like a parabola. But we take the log transform and we get an, this new set of numbers. And that plots up like this, like a line. OK, so when this happens, when we take the log of x and the log of y and we plot it up and it's a straight line, then we know that the data here, the original data, are a power function. OK, so we get this line. And then we can extract the parameters that we want by uh, obtaining the intercept. So the intercept would be this value right here, about 1.1. And by comparing these two equations, the intercept is equal to the natural log of a. So if I take e to the capital B, then I get a, which is the coefficient in the out in front here in the, of the original equation. And if I determine the slope of this plot here, that's capital M. And capital M is the exponent in the power function. OK. So uh, we've seen one way to apply that. If we have a table of data of x and y, we can take the natural log of x and the natural log of y and plot that up on Cartesian axes, get the slope and the intercept, and use that to determine the coefficient a and b. Another way of doing this is to put the data on log log axes. And this can be done easily in plotting packages in Excel a log log axis looks like this. And so you can see this is the same data that we had on the previous page. And you can see here's one log cycle. And we have a total of three log cycles along y. And this is one log cycle here from 1 to 10. And so what we want to be able to do now is obtain the parameters here for the power function what we see is that the data plot up as a straight line on the log log axis. What that means is that the, the function of y as a function of x is a power function. And so what we'll do is to, to what we'll do the, in order to extract the parameters is to apply a base 10 log transform. And the reason for that is because 
these axes here are base 10 log. What we used previously was the natural log, but these are the base 10 log. Uh, and so let's just go through the procedure. We take the base 10 log, we get the equation for a line, and the slope of that line is equal to the exponent. In order to get the coefficient, this is, a, I think, a good way to think about it. If we take this equation, which is our transformed power function, and solve for log a, then we get this. And if we say that I'm going to pick x equals 1, uh, substitute it in there, then the, the base 10 log of, of 1 is equal to 0. So this equation reduces to this. And so we just have that the log of a is equal to the log of y at x equals 1. And so if that's true, then a must equal y at x equal 1. And so we can simply read the value of a right off the plot. Okay, and so here's the value of x equal 1, and that would be the value of a. Now, it's important to keep in mind that the reason we can do this in this case is because these values right here are the actual values of the data. When we did this on the previous example, the y-axis in the log transform was the, the log of the data. Okay, so we've, we've determined A right off the plot, and in order to determine B, we have to get the slope of this line. Well, th this is an important aspect here. In order to get the slope, what we have to recognize is that the slope is done in terms of change in y versus change in x in log cycles. So it's the change in log y in log cycles versus change in x in log cycles. And th what that's going to give us is we have a total of three log cycles here. And so from this point to this point, is about 2.4 log cycles and from this point to this point is about one log cycle so the slope in this case is 2.4 log cycles over 1 or 2.4 so that would be the value of the slope and that would be then the value of the exponent here in this power function